Well, just, uh, you know, proud of our team this year, proud of my staff. and um, Just, uh, you know, 33 wins is, a, is obviously a tremendous accomplishment. Back-to-back -back Southeastern Conference Championships. Um, you know, winning the, the, the tournament this year for the first time was, uh, again, it, it's kind of old hat around here. It's what we do. We, we've been setting records every year and doing some new things every year. And, uh, you know, to think back over the last, you know, really the last five years, uh, you could even go to six and get to 22. But 27, 28, you know, 34, 37, and 33 wins. It's, uh, it's been a good run. Um, and you know I don't uh, my plan I don't plan on changing that. So we've got a uh, this group is is really been um, you know they were a great group a great team. We had tremendous point guard play as y'all know with Jazz and Tierra had a, a tremendous career and uh, and so um, you know you 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 move on to the next group. We got a lot of young kids. Uh, have played a lot of important minutes for us, and we've got a great group coming in that I'm just super excited about. So we'll be young, we'll be extremely talented, um, but really, you know, no senior class to speak of as of today. And um, and and so you you go to work knowing that uh, you know we're, we're, our leadership will probably come from the staff uh, because of our youth, and, and that's okay. But uh, just really appreciative of those seniors, Zion, Jazz, and T. I mean, what can you say? 132 wins in their four-year career. I don't know. Y'all have to look it up. Who else has done that in the last four years? But I'm pretty sure there's only one, uh, one other. And so I'm just uh, really proud of, proud of them and appreciative of all they've given to our program. So... Um, we're on to the one to the next one. We're working out right now. I just came from workouts, and uh, you know you got T and Anriel in there getting a workout in with your with your veterans, uh, with your kids coming back, and uh, um, you know I'm just really happy for those two to to know they're going to have an opportunity at the next level. And um, but there's no guarantees, as I've told them. You you you, you got to go make a team. You got to go got to go make a make a spot on somebody's roster. So. And I, there's no doubt in my mind those two will. You had some success with transfers, with grad transfers, with Troy Lewis, uh, Andrew Hill. Do you anticipate trying to bring one of those in? I'm not asking for the names, but just uh, your thoughts on that. Yeah, you know, we're always looking. We're always, uh, you know, I call it the waiver wire. I mean, it's uh, it's crazy, you know. There's so many kids. Uh, but, you know, to you have to – you know, we, we do our due diligence and our homework. My staff is tremendous at making sure we, if we're interested in someone, they're a fit. And uh, But I think our brand is out there uh, for women's basketball at Mississippi State. And uh, I think kids that are looking to do something different know what we're about. And, uh, you know, quite frankly, there's a lot of kids that want to be a part of that. We just have to make sure that, you know, they're a fit and, uh, you know, Things just have to be really to me. It's all about the right reason, and uh, and so um, I know what I have. I've always said this, and I know what I have. I know who my kids are. I know what their strengths and weaknesses are. I have to be careful about what I, you know, what we bring in to be around those kids. And uh, boy, Anriel was, uh, you know, really special. And um, you know, you 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 you're so thankful for for what she brought to our program and our team and. Um, really allowed us to be, um, you know, really, uh, again, a, a special basketball team. On that transfer market, do you have a preference as to whether it's a grad transfer or a multi-year transfer? Do you have a preference on where it's it, it always depends on where you are with your team and in recruiting, how many kids you got on the roster, what you think you can get in the next class, which is the, the 20 class. Um, you know, when you take a transfer – um, and, and, and depending on how many years they have, I mean, it just, it's all philosophy, but, you know, we're on some really good kids in the 20 class. So, you know, we just, we'll see, you know, you never know. Y'all just hang in there with me. Going off the transfers, obviously there's not many in the country that can replace someone like Tierra, but having Thomas Taylor next year, someone who's already proven herself in SEC play, what do you maybe see what's her next step in terms of her development? To step into a possible brand new. Yeah, so promise uh, has a lot of promise. 
but right now, you know, she's in a cast. Um, she's, uh, she's had some, some surgery to correct a, a foot issue. And so, you know, she's going to be out for an extended period of time. And, uh, and so when she does get cleared, when she does get uh, rehabbed and, and all, which is going to take some time this summer, it's going, she's going to be on a crash course. You know, she's going to be on a, on an accelerated course to get back and to get ready. So, um, you know, for us, it's really important with her and, you know, Jessica, I'm down there watching Jessica right now. And just to me, she is, her potential's off the chart and, uh, a multiple position player, uh, so dynamic. And, um, and so, um, you know, um, not to get away from promise because I think promise again is someone that's done it in the league, like you said, and has proven that she can play at this level. And uh, so has Jessica. Um, and, and so we've got to get promise healthy. That's a big thing right now for us. You mentioned those seniors being rough coming this year, but just from workouts at this point, maybe who are some of the people returning that might be able to fill into that role? Well, yeah, we've had them. Uh, I gave them two weeks off when we came back. So we've worked out yesterday, today, and tomorrow. And that's going to be our workouts. Tomorrow's the last day we can legally do anything with them. So, um, you know, all those kids, uh, I think, are, you know, working hard. They're, they're, they've are they played some big minutes for us. And um, and so, you know, I, I I could go down the list of all of them. But they're, every one of them, you know, Promise and, and Chloe are, are obviously rehabbing right now. But... You got Zaria and Jessica. You got Andy, Maya, Bree in that sophomore class, and so every kid I just mentioned's played some really big minutes for us, and so I have a lot of confidence in that group. Um, Going to be real important to see who wants to step up and really um, take their game to the next level. Who wants to step up and try to be a leader, um, and, and those kinds of things. We, we we really are void, you know, of that senior leadership right now, and so we've. We're going to have to develop it in our younger class. You have a few different ways you can go with your lineup. You can you can probably go big with Promise and Jessica, maybe Chloe at the three. Yep. What, what direction do you feel like this team might go? Do you think Chloe might play some of the four where she was? Or what's your thoughts on – just early thoughts on where they might end up? Yeah, so, again, I think that's what's going to be really unique about this team is we're going to have some kids that can play, you know, multiple positions. And – Chloe's certainly that, that player that can play three and four. You know, Chloe's going to be coming off of a, a pretty s severe injury. And so it's just going to depend on uh, how she's able to bounce back and how fast. Some kids, you know, take a while. Some kids don't. Uh, and so it's just going to be um, interesting to see, you know, what her time frame is and how comfortable she can get back on the floor. It's, it, that's what it's all about. The, the injury will heal. Uh, Dr. Linton's tremendous. Uh, I'm, I'm quite confident she's going to be, you know, she'll be better uh, physically. But that injury, it's the mental piece that's hard to get over sometimes. And until you can get past that mental um, barrier where you realize, hey, you know what, I'm bigger, faster, stronger. My knee's solid. I can do. I can cut. I can explode. That's where when you have those injuries that you have a little bit of the – the pullback or the hindrance. So I think the, that's that's always a big key, and that's the piece that will hold anybody back. Do you think there's a place for most of that freshman class in the next year? Man, absolutely. Early thoughts on them? Yeah, man. I, I'm so excited about them and their skill set. I love how hard they play. I mean, you're going you're gonna to see a mini Anriel in Jayla Hemingway. I mean – that kid's motor is off the charts. You're going to see her go rebound like Ann Riel um, from the guard position. And, and so, you know, she's going to jump out as, at you as one of those kids that plays like a Dominique extremely hard. And, and, uh, and, and so that's, that's what you'll notice with her. You're going to see a, a Jemiah who's, man, she already looks like she's been in our weight room two years. She's just got a tremendous frame and build. And, Talk about explosive and athletic. And again, coming off of a pretty severe injury two years ago, she's just now getting back to being comfortable where she was as a USA basketball player at a young age. And so you're excited about her. You, obviously, we've, we've talked a lot about Rakia uh, and, and what she brings to the table. I mean, a, a Victoria type, 
but I'm telling you, she's taller. Um, she's she's uh, high, so highly skilled, um, loves to play the game, and, and I think she's going to really be able to do uh, – she's going to be one of those kids that's multiple. She's got – she can score at all three levels, at the rim with contact, mid-range, shoot the three. She's going to be able to play multiple positions for us. She's going to be a mismatch. She's going to be a nightmare for teams if we can get her in the right um, mismatches, which I think we can. We did that with Victoria. So, you know, that's, that's exciting with her. Aaliyah, you know, that kid, in my opinion, and it's the opinion of other teams, by the way, that played against them, she's, she's the, should, you know, she wasn't the McDonald's on that team, but very well could have been. Um, she is just, you talk about explosive, can play combo one and two, Again, can finish at all three levels, at the rim, mid-range, out to three. But just an explosive, dynamic player, um, can guard with pressure. Uh, you talk about competitive, um, just plays extremely hard. So, you know, I'm really excited about her and, and, and just what she brings to the table. Just she wants to play. She wants to play. Um, and then you've got Esmeri, who's coming off of – uh, a knee injury, and uh, you know, be real important to get her here this summer. Get her in our rehab stuff. Make sure that she's good to go. But she plays the two for her Dominican team. You know, we're, we recruited her to play the four. So I'm hopeful that she'll come in here, be able to play the four, and just keep moving her out to where she plays the three um, and out on the wing before she graduates. Because obviously, she's got that skill set. So. Man, I am. I'm excited about those five. Y'all can tell. And uh, um, those kids remind me of Blair, Morgan, and Tori. I remember taking those three. We were in a car going somewhere on campus in the summer of their freshman year. And, and I remember Tori sitting in the back seat. She was back right behind me. She said, Coach, I just need to say this. I want you to know I don't care who's here. I don't care who starts. I'm here to play and take somebody's position. And they all chimed in. And that's the, that was the competitive spirit and nature of those kids as we all learned to love for four years. I think this group's got that same mental piece to them. They are here to play, they're here to compete, um, and they want to win. And they all have won at the highest level in high school. There's a proposal out there to alter the grad transfer rule where the scholarship could count against you for two years if they don't get the grad degree in, in their one year in, of eligibility. What, what, what do you think of that? How does that change the game if that does pass? Yeah, I mean, I, I think, again, uh, I don't particularly uh, – I play by the rules that I'm given. I don't particularly like the, the rules now. Uh, I think anybody that transfers ought to have to sit. I mean, I, I just uh, – that's just kind of been a – uh, philosophy, but I mean, I, I'm hey, the rules are the rules right now, and so I'm going to play by the rules. And uh, you know, we were fortunate with Anriel. Um, you know, there's a side on the on the grad transfer piece. I, I think those kids need to stay eligible. And uh, you know, if if they're not, then I think you know, as it is right now, it's it's it, it hurts you. You know, if those kids don't stay eligible throughout the course of their career, you know, if Anriel doesn't leave here in good standing, then I can't go get another grad transfer. And, and so I think that's a fair um, uh, side to the rule. So, um, you know, uh, we'll play by whatever rules they give us. Um, you know, I just uh, – and I hate to see, you know, um, any kid uh, just, you know, it's just difficult. The past few off seasons you've been motivated by the last game that you played, you know, that previous season. You go all the way back to the UConn game, obviously. And then the two national title games. How similar will this be? Will the Oregon game be sort of a motivational factor for you guys? Yeah, so 88 is ingrained in my head. Um, you know, what did we get beat, 88, 84? Mm -hmm. So you can count on one finger in my career, Tyler, one finger that I've lost the game when my team scored 84 points. So that's ingrained in my head. And I've got to wear that, you know, that's on me. And uh, I'll wear that, and uh, that'll be my motivating. Uh, if I don't like, I need motivation. But if, if I need to hang on to something, um, you know, that number eighty eight is going to be in my head for a while. Who's the NASCAR driver that drives eighty eight? Uh huh. So, 
it ain't my favorite number if you if you're asking and uh you know i'm i'm uh but i'm accountable you know i'm uh i'm accountable i'm i'm extremely disappointed but i'm accountable and i'll fix it so you know i i uh you know i saw uh, coach graves and and uh, sabrina at the at the award ceremony Friday night out in L.A. Uh, for the Wooden Award, and you know she won it, and uh, congratulated her. She's had a tremendous uh, season, tremendous career. She's going to come back, which I think is wonderful for our game, and play uh, her senior year. But I told Kelly when I shook his hand to leave that night, I said, "Let's play again. You know, let's start it up and play again. I, I just, I want to play again. I want to play them again. You know, and." Uh, and so um, I got a text message from him uh, yesterday, and and so we've talked about trying to start it back up in uh, you know in a year or two. So you know he and I, I have so much respect for him and the job he's done there. I think his feelings are mutual here, and um, you know we know. I think it's fair to say we brought out their their best games this past season. They they played two pretty good ones against us. So. Um, and we had a heck of a knockdown drag out with them here a year ago. Uh, on the scheduling note, how much of next year's non-con is already done? Um, most of it. Uh, yeah, most of it. Uh, I think we needed one. I think we got it today. So we're, we're close. Yeah. What's the uh, schedule for the summer as far as how, how often you can work? Oh, with or yeah. I know you have your USA thing yeah. coming up and then you're changing to it as a deal. What's the... How's it all break down? Yeah, so we'll we'll uh, finish finals on the third, and graduate on the third, and then uh, kids will get to go home for the month of May. I'll go to USA Trials uh, the 15th through the 20th for the Pan American team. We'll come back in June, have um, summer school starting the first of June. We'll start preparing for the, uh, the World University Games with practice. Um, I think we leave June 30th for Naples. Uh, and don't come back till July 12th. And then I think I go to, to uh, Colorado Springs for Pan American practice um, on the, like the 22nd. And we leave and uh, don't come back till, you know, August 4th or 6th, something like that. So pretty big, pretty hectic schedule for, for, for all summer for me and, uh, and my staff, our players. I'm excited for our players. I think this is going to be a, it's a tremendous opportunity and to get those kids extra practices and extra games. But you know what? I want to win. And, and the people that put us in the position to represent the USA to go over there, uh, they want us to win. We haven't had a team go over there and medal. And so um, I'm, I'm, I'm wanting to go over there and put our team up against the best in the world, and I want to win. So I'm excited about that. Who's eligible for those? So uh, anyone that's um, on your team, uh, any incoming freshman, um, anyone that has eligibility and your seniors, if, if uh, you know, if, if any of them. Um, so, you know, we'll uh, – and then you can, you can actually add to your team from somebody else's team if, if you wanted to. So. Will you? Uh, you know, that's out there, you know. So how many of the five freshmen will be involved in that? Will all of them be here? Or? Uh, yeah, they'll all be here. Absolutely, yeah, they'll all be here. I think the, you know, where I'm anxious to see where Esmeri is on a rehab, and and uh, and um, you know what what kind of um, you know clearance we can get because Dr. Lynn's, you know, I'm gonna let him make that decision. Uh, I know she's been rehabbing where she is, but when she gets here, you know, she'll be under his watch and his care and and Julie and uh, and we'll get that you know looked at pretty quick um, to make sure because she. She will be, she heard it in maybe uh, late October, early November. So she's only, you know, nine, eight, nine months. And of the seniors, do you have a handle of how many of them will be available for that team? I, I, I don't have a handle right now, no. Okay. And just from a roster management standpoint, you have eight returners and five freshmen. So is that 13? Seven returners. Seven, who's, who's missing? Well, Okay, so I have eight returners and who? And five freshmen. Right? Thirteen. So Thirteen. Yeah. yeah. Is that the, what you anticipate going into the summer? Right now, yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. 
Hey, I appreciate y'all being here. Thank y'all so much for your coverage this year, and uh, let's do it again. Praise the Lord and go dogs.